After opening up Roger's Auto Parts Shop, I've considered on restoring and adding some upgrades to my truck. Seeing that it's all dented and rusted up, I'll take whatever parts he's got in store, along with cleaning the rust and dents off the truck. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our day off with this rusted truck that we got here. So yesterday in game, I bought a handful of rust repair kits at the gas station where we got four of them here, including the dent repair kit in the last video trying to restore my Koenig. So let's go to easy route and fix the hood of this truck. For example... More than three clicks, Jesus, this is in bad shape. Sorry, it's seven, eight, nine, ten? Eleven? Jeez! Oh, it's my controller. I'll call him real quick, it's been fully restored. So, I think eleven or twelve clicks right there. Jesus. This is like the definition of what a work truck is. It's all dented and scratched up, and we're just restoring it like we're trying to sell this in a freaking showroom floor or something. Try to almost take advantage of Craigslist saying this has been lightly used. I mean, is this lightly used with it all being rusted and dented up? I don't think so, buddy. And it appears the only dented up part is the other door. So the hood and the doors were the only rusted, I mean not rusted, but dented up body panels of this entire truck. So it's not that bad compared to the Koenig, where there were dents all over the place except for the truck. It's just the sides and the hood. Calm your click. It's gonna make it worse if you keep doing it. Yeah, shut up, boy. Now for the rust repair kit. Let's start out with the front end. Let's start with the bumper. Hmm. Not bad. Next, the grill. Including the trim, too? Including the trim! Oh, nice. Nice! I didn't expect the freaking trim to get involved. I thought I was just gonna get, like, the front grill part, and that's it. So, we got the trim involved, but we gotta fix the back bumper, too. A license plate. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can change this. Go. I'm the greatest of all time. Brah! Sap Loud? Jidoa? Koenig? Machine? 424, 20, 69, 69, 69. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and buzz the wool. Well, good to know. Forgot you could change the license plates in this game. A rear bumper. Thank you. And I'm not too sure if I want to use the rust repair kit on the rims, because I know you can buy the rims at Rogers Auto Parts Shop as sellers. There's like interchangeable rims for, of course, the Koenig and for the truck, too. Same thing with upgrading to some off road tires, which I believe they're just random or regular old all season tires, I believe. And for the heck of it, speaking of the rust repair kit, might as well use this on this quarter panel right here with this little rusty spot. So, we'll just clean out this quarter panel. Uh, please. What? There you go, you gotta go like, like right on the freaking spot to do that, sheesh. And the last rusty spot to go over to Koenig is the roof. So we need only one more of the rust repair kit to clean this up. And to afford all the upgrades to truck, I might as well finish up this 79% barrel of maple syrup to sell this bad boy to the Maple Syrup Federation and get this done. And probably in the future, buy like another barrel or two so we can make a little bit more money throughout the day and of course make more every Sunday and, uh, forgot. And make more money every Sunday by getting paid on that day. Because like I told you before on how the payout works with the maple syrup, is of course throughout the day, Monday through Friday, you sell the barrel for $200 per barrel, and assuming you sold five throughout the week, you'll get $1,000 for every Sunday and for every five weeks. Or if you can sell more, you get more than $1,000, or they could stack up to like two or $3,000 for the week or something like that. Make a little bit more than that, and it lasts up to five weeks. So let's wait for all the sugar water to evaporate, put in the barrel, and take it to the Maple Surf Federation and see what we can afford at Roger's shop. I gotta tell you, this truck looks so clean now with all the dents and the rust removed, except for the rims right here for all four tires. We gotta, uh, watch that barrel, and I gotta talk to Francis so we can get the frickin' air compressor. Hold on. Well, we are Francis, 42 out of 50, so, hey, Francis! Hey, Francis! Could I get to level 43, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. I hate cutting firewood so much. I agree with you, man. So we got seven more in-game days to reach level 50 so I can get the air compressor to put in my garage. I felt my tires or to go chum chum with the freaking impact gun or something like that where you change out the tires, get rid of the bolts, and stall them like so quickly, like stupidly fast compared to the adjustable spanner that you normally use. All right, grab the barrel. Goby. Roll, please. Uh... Got it. <laughs> Fair enough, then. Just roll it on in and get my couple hundred dollars. 
All right, it's getting to gas station. Talk about boy Jock was Wazir and Normandy. Sniff, sniff. Did you run over a skunk? Tell me about it, huh? No, I haven't taken a shower in like five months. Uh, I know. It's weird. So now I need a Koenig. Let's buy one more to rust repair kit for the away. Oh, French getting approval. Let's buy that one more to rust repair kit for the roof of the car. And for the other parts, um, might as well change out the brake rotors, which I know the brakes are shot out in this car. I might as well just buy the good caliper for now because the, the, the performance calipers would be a little bit too extreme for this truck because this truck does not have ABS brakes whatsoever. Like if you were to slam the brakes, boom, you're skidding out of control, you're gonna flip over and you're gonna die like real life. All right, Roger, you got any more brake rotors for this truck? Yo, man, take a look. There's a lot to take in. Yeah, I know there's a lot, I know. But what I want is the brake rotors. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'll, I'll grab two more of these. Damn, some off-road tires cost 351 times four. What would that equal to? $1,403.96. Um, we're not even there yet. Jeez. And the rims are $600 a piece. I mean, except 500 right here? What? So 600 times four is $2,400 roughly in rims right here. Plus tires, that's $3,800. Oh, my ass needs some money here real soon. Two thousand for the front, two thousand for the front, eight fifty for the front, eight hundred for the back, and these nuts, ha, got him thirty-three dollars. You know what? Let's do it. Grab my nuts. Here, hold my nuts. No bolts, none. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so gonna regret this. Does it swing? Nope, they don't swing. So that's good. I think I'm gonna regret putting these on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why they went out of style so fast since the early 2000s when every freaking redneck put this on their truck. Alright, let's spend the last of the rust repair kit on the Koenig. There we go, now we're 100% rust free and we can repaint this car a bit later. Probably in the next video once I put an engine in this thing, like a newer engine. Alright, let's jack this bad boy up. God damn, it's like a mile in the freaking air. Like install the lift kit or something like that. <laughs> Well, our main goal right now is to get the brakes fixed on this car. We're going to change out the brake rotors and install the front brakes for this car with the cheapy pads on them. I don't know if I should really use my performance brake pad for the right portion of the vehicle. I mean, it's universal because in the last video, I bought the wrong brake pad for the Koenig. Here's the shoddy one, which should have been the left caliper. I actually bought two right calipers for the car, which we got one of the brake calipers there and one of the brake calipers there for the right one, so... How can you install a third brake caliper on the right where you can do so right here? All right, let's yank the wheel. Yeet. And speaking of the rust repair kit, I might as well use these on the rim, seeing that they're like $600 a piece. I might as well just change out the tires, but fix up the rims by getting rid of the rust for every single one of them right here. So I can put some off-road tires and keep the stock rims. And the brake rotor. Is it rusty? Yes, it is. Let's put in the freaking rust pile where I need to sell this at the damn scrapyard, like, real soon up in here so I can get even more money. Alright, put the brake rotor on there. Grab the brake rotor, put it on there. Brake rotor... I'm, I'm gonna wait for the back ones, or the, the front ones, I mean. Alright, crappy brake caliper. Is this a universal right caliper? Weak. Well, we gotta make it strong. By grabbing this bad boy, right good, boom. Brake rotor, boom. And reinstall the brakes. All right, all the tires are installed with this bad boy, and I might as well put some of the stuff in the back of the truck here for the junkyard because, well, we can see there's a lot of junk that we got going on here. The rusted-ass muffler, the weak brake pads, the brake rotors all rusty and all that good stuff, and I swear, I thought I did see a video that there is another Koenig that you can actually restore in a junkyard and take another Koenig home. And work on that car, like one will be like a race build, another one is like an off-road build or something like that. Alright, let's see how the brakes are like. Eh, a little better. Sheesh, it's 11 p.m. already, so let's get my ass to the Maple Surf Federation, buy another barrel, collect my other barrel, and sell my parts at the junkyard. Hey, my boy Eric. Welcome to the Maple Surf Federation. I'm gonna buy the barrel and get the hell out of here because I'm 100 hours away from being broke. Oh wow, this is the game's big <laughs> Oh wow, this is the game's biggest F you that I've seen, so we need one more of the maple syrup to get this going. Ah damn man, just for once, one more tick of the maple syrup reservoir so I can sell the two back to Eric. 
Okay, the maple syrup is bubbling. This needle is about to go to the little seven marker. And I gotta drink this bat. Okay, we're done. 100% done. Uh, let's get to the freaking maple syrup shop and get ready to sell the freaking parts of the bag to the junkyard. Hey, Eric. I heard you missed us. I'm back. I got my barrel. Uh, come on, get the stamp thing in so I can pay right now. Yep! That's probably my worst Van Halen take that I've ever done on this channel. And since we're at $500, I might as well buy one of the off-road tires for now. $154 remaining. And probably buy as much rust repair kits. Uh, where are they at again? Oh, they're over here. So, $50 each. I think all three of them right here. So, let's just, let's just do it right here. One of the rust repair kits, go. Good. Rust repair kit number two. Yep, okay, one more to go. One more rust repair kit that we can afford. Get the right rim and get the front left rim, too. Now, the front left rim. Good, now we're at four dollars and thirty-six cents. We need one more rim to go. All right, so I'm at the junkyard. Let's see how much I could sell for all these parts here. And second of all, where are my other brake calipers? There's three of them. I thought there were five in the bag, I swear. Well, might as well sell the three and the broken ABS module for the Koenig. So we're going to be making a hundred eight dollars. That seems fair. And for the Koenig up here, which I think it's... Where is it at? It's somewhere around here. I mean, there's a couple of them. Like, if you cannot install the old parts of the Koenig, like one of the junkyard Koenigs, then I might as well just sell the parts to these, too. Let's see. Grab the... Um... Shock. I don't think you can. Nope. You can't. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought about installing the old parts and putting a new Koenig to get more of these same cars back to your garage. So I might as well sell all the parts here. And I forgot about this car right here, this pink car right here. Somebody did say in the comments that this is a drivable car. I seen it, but I don't... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is the demo derby car. I forgot all about this. I seen the car, but I didn't even pay attention that this was just like a random, like, NPC car. I'd, there's a radio, I forgot. So, does it work? Ooh, it does, but I'm not gonna drive it home right now. Well, might as well grab a radio right here. Are there any more radios left that I forgot to pull? I don't know. All right, check every car. There's no more radio in sight at the junkyard, so yeah. I forgot the other radio from the last couple videos. So instead of selling 37 to Raymond, I technically sold all 38 of them. So let's throw the second batch of this junk in the freaking bin here and see how much we can get off of this. 82 kilograms, so 164 dollars. Not that bad, so 108 plus 164, so 272, I think? Yeah, I think it was around 272 dollars that I've earned by selling the stuff at the junkyard. Not that bad. And real quick, can you change the color of the- You can. You know what? Let's do it. Can you- Yes. Blue balls. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Chrome ass blue balls. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's head to the gas station. Oh, I forgot freaking load, freaking load fuel. Oh my god, I was gonna run out of fuel by the time I get to the house. God dang, man. I'll probably have a big dumbass moment. I mean, yeah, probably gonna take like 50 bucks to fill this thing back to full. I'll probably do $30 of gas for the truck right here. $30 even, and $17.66 for the gas can. So about $47.66 is where we're going to total up to. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 66. Got it. And also, let's buy the final patch of the rust repair kit of Away. French can improve to it again. Buy the final rust repair kit to fix this bad boy up so we're completely rust-free with the entire truck and the Koenig. But I haven't installed the new tires for the truck here. It's still the old, I think, all-season tires. Well, unfortunately, my second barrel right here is two-thirds full, and the one I got in here is 100% full, and we got about 50 minutes left before this thing closes. That's my spanner. Get out of here. So let's hurry up to the People's Surf Federation and sell my one and only barrel right here. All right, last barrel of the work week. Bang. What a shot from Curry. And since we're at about 378 right now, I might as well buy the second off-road tire, probably wait till next week, Monday, and buy the other two tires, which is going to take me even an eternity to wait until it's Monday. Hey, Roger, I'm back. I don't want your truck nuts. I want another tire for $351 or $350.99. So we're at 2681. I need some food stamps and a stimulus check right now. 
And since it's a Friday and his shop closes in about an hour and it's not open on Saturday or Sunday, pfft, might as well do the Sunday or the Saturday and Sunday apocalypse and just really wait out until it's Monday. Ooh, $1,600, so it's a little bit more than a stimulus check, so uh, $1,626.81, but we gotta wait until Monday to go to Roger's shop. I'm almost dead. Alright, my poutine is pretty high, I think it's about halfway to being full. Will I die? Good, I'm not gonna die right here. So I already got the jack stands in the back, including the two off-road tires. Let's go to Roger's parts shop and buy the final two tires and install these on here and call it a day. Alright, first things first, let's grab the only maple syrup barrel right now. Jump down with him. That was too early. Alright, it's the moment you all been waiting for, finally. Buy the last of the two off-road tires and install them on the truck. So tire number three, yeet over- well, I gotta keep them in here because, well, there's a tire changer right here and the tire inflator right here. Alright, let's do this the most ghetto way and try to jack this truck up and get the old tires out of here so we can put the off-road tires on the new truck. So we got that all set and done here. Where is my spanner? Okay, good, got my spanner. So we gotta get rid of the tire right here. Get rid of all five of these bolts for all four wheels and put it inside the shop and deflate the tires and get rid of the ram. And put the same rim on there on the new tire and rinse and repeat until this is all done. And Skrook's kicking. I'm, I'm pretty much cutting this way too close here. There's a good chance I'm gonna die right here trying to install some new tires. You could say the same thing for my maple syrup needs too. I think I'd like run to the freaking store and drink some maple syrup, but I don't think it's gonna be worth it when I die. Bury me and hang my balls, maturity tree. When they get ripe, then take a bite, and if it don't taste right, then don't blame D. Alright, let's grab all the four tires, yeet over there, and grab the other tire, uh, please tire, and yeet over there. What the hell, I hit the ceiling. And Roger, in case I die from maple syrup or lack of poutine, we're well stocked at a, for a Koenig like yours, just don't worry about me, I'm gonna respawn at the nearest hospital. There's way too much pressure in that tire. Wanna die? Yeah, I wanna die. Cause look, look at my deeds, I'm gonna die real soon. And what are the tires at? 32 PSI? Hmm. Universal Rusty Wheel. Not anymore. Yeah, they're all season tires. That's, I, I knew they were all season tires from the looks of it. And same thing for the new tire. Squeaky deaky cheeky beep. I think we're gonna leave a truck here and just... Where's the store at? Okay, here's the freaking store right here. I'm gonna run and get some maple syrup and hope to God that I can get some poutine once the store opens up another hour and a half. All right, let's run the snow like a freaking Canadian. Open up the door. Hey, yo, I need some maple syrup. Uh, real nice weather. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, sir. Our maple syrup. Drink. Oh, babe, babe, so. I think I said that right. All right, there's snack delivery. It opens up at 12.30 if I'm right. Hey, chef, are you here yet? Uh, 12. Okay, okay. I think we can make it. All right, drop the jacks right now. Let's get to the freaking snack delivery. Oh my god, man. This is why there's a ghetto set up here. Drop the last one and... Oops, I forgot to put air in the tires. Can this still drive? Let's see. Well, we have to go really slow in case they fall off the rim. Let's see. All right, driving reverse, trekking over some rough terrain. It seems like we're doing okay right now, but where's the damn... Hold up, where, where's the shop at? We're right over here. Well, gotta go to the garage and fill up all four tires, as so open the door. I'm gonna die. Open the door. All right, watch Chef just appear out of nowhere. Come on. Ding dong, ding dong. There goes a church. There he goes. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, hell. G get you in my face. Well, good today. I'm gonna die. There. Let's buy some extra poutine so we can put this in the fridge in case we need it for the future. We're, we're, we're going to definitely need it for the future, put it that way. And now let's take the rough drive home with my flat-ass tires that we're riding on the rim right now. I mean, <laughs> I forgot you got to fill them up. All right, fill the tires up right now. I think it's at 32 PSI for each and every one of these tires on here last time I checked. So the tire's going through the ground as it inflates itself past 20 PSI. Going pretty slow up in here. Well, let's just wait till we get 32 for all four tires. All right, just a little bit more. Done. All four tires are inflated, so we finally got the truck pretty much 
roadworthy where how it should be. And I might as well clean all this stuff off camera. So anyways, that'll do it with Monbuzul by getting rid of all the rust of this truck and putting some newer off-road tires on here and all that good stuff. And in the future, as I get more money up in here, I might as well replace the engine of the Koenig, which I think it costs like $5,000 to have a performance engine or something like that. So when I get the money, I'll probably do that for the next video. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.